All right, now if you're a Samsung Galaxy phone user, then you should watch this video completely because I'm going to share some very useful tips for you guys, which will be really useful in your day to day life. But before we go ahead, let me tell you that we are currently running an offer on our Volvo's application. We are offering a 50% discount on our annual subscription. If you go to the premium section, you will see that it is at 50% discount now. In India, it is costing 600 rupees instead of 1200 rupees. You'll be able to unlock everything on the application, all the premium collections as well as ad free experience you will get and in all other countries you'll be getting 50% discount on the lifetime subscription so go ahead check our wallpaper application out the link is in the description there are tons of collections and we also keep adding new wallpapers almost uh, every day so do go ahead and check it out now let's dive right into the video okay now to turn off the phone we usually press and hold on the side key and the volume down key to get into the power off menu and then tap on power off or we can go to the quick panel here and tap on the power off button and then tap on power off now instead we can turn off the phone without even going through those few steps yes that is possible on your galaxy phone all you need to do is just tell your bixby to turn off the phone let me show you that hey bixby turn off the phone Yes, turn it off. You see, the phone is turned off. We can even reboot without even juggling the buttons or going to the quick panel. That's the first one. Now, let's go to the quick panel here. Did you know that there are some settings hidden within this brightness bar? Now, we usually go to the quick panel to increase or decrease the brightness. Uh, usually, it is set to auto, but just in case if you want to manually adjust it, you will use this slider. But when you press and hold on the slider, you get some additional options. The adaptive brightness, which most of us turn it on, but if you're using your phone outdoors, you need to come here and disable adaptive brightness to get that extra brightness which your screen is capable of. It will increase the maximum brightness. This uses more battery. However, if battery is not a concern, you can enable this toggle whenever you're uh, at work on the outside environment under sunlight or under brightly lit conditions. And we also have the second option here, adapt to color tone, adjust color and white balance based on ambient lighting conditions to make colors appear more natural in different environments. This is another cool useful feature which you can enable in case if you want it. But if you don't want the color tone to keep changing, then you can just disable it to get that beautiful screen colors which Samsung always offers. Now these settings are hidden within your brightness bar. You can go ahead and press and hold on it to access it. Now, we all are aware of a feature called focus mode. Whenever we make a call, we will be able to access the call modes on the quick panel and change the focus mode or standard mode. Now, those two are available on calls. But here is something interesting. Let's say you are making a call on WhatsApp. Let me just open WhatsApp here. I'll make a call here and let me take this call over here on this phone. And now let me just go to the quick panel over here. You can see we have got mic mode. Now, let me tap on mic mode here. We have got standard voice focus, which are available by default for any other calls that you make. But when you make a call from an application like WhatsApp, you've got something called full spectrum. Now it's always good to have voice focus on the phone and by default, the standard mode will cut off all the background noise. But what if you want your uh, receiver or caller to hear your background noise? You may be in a party or you know you may be in a situation where you don't want to talk to the other person and you want them to hear the background noise that you have, then you need to switch to full spectrum option. And when you do that, the other person will hear everything that is happening in your background all the background noise, the traffic or the party music, everything you'll be able to hear clear and loud just in case if you want them to hear. That is possible on WhatsApp and maybe a few other calling applications. Next, right here, we have got another feature called Live Translate. Now this pops up when you're making a call on WhatsApp or maybe on Google Meet and other applications. Now let me tap on Live Translate here. As you can see, whatever I talk will be translated right over here. Now it is translating from Hindi to English. Uh, I will have to select the language here and then my language here and it will be clearly translated to the other person uh, over the call. You can see whatever I'm talking here is translating to Hindi and the other person is hearing in Hindi. Now that is live translation available right here when you make a call from WhatsApp or any other third party applications. And you can see the window is closed right now. I can also expand it to get the live translation window and I can move it around as well. If you want to go back, you can just switch back here. It is just stopped. 
And we also have this floating bar right here for live translate. This is a pretty cool feature. If you're using WhatsApp and talking to somebody who doesn't understand your language, it will become very, very useful. Next, on One UI 8, Samsung added a cool feature which was hiding inside the developer options on One UI 7. I'm talking about the back gesture animation, the back swipe preview, which is now hidden on labs on the settings. If you're running on One UI 8 on your Galaxy phone, go to settings, tap on advanced features and here tap on labs right here you can see back swipe preview is available now this feature may not be available on all the phones probably on s25 series this is available i'm not sure about the s24 series s23 series and a series phone and maybe f and m series phone as well let me know if you have this feature on one ui 8.0 drop a comment now once you enable this what happens is you will see this back swipe you will be seeing the preview of the previous menu when you swipe here like i always said this may not be useful but it is really pleasing to the eye it's more of an animation or let's say transition effect that we get whenever we open the settings here and this is not available on the third party applications nor on the samsung's own applications let's try uh, some other samsung application here maybe let's say calendar let me open this uh, let's go back here now we don't have that back swipe animation but when you're going back from the application to the home screen we do have that uh, back swipe preview but yeah on the third party applications and samsung's own application system applications it may not work it works very well on the settings as you can see here you'll be able to check this cool transition or animation right here now here's the last tip for you guys and this will be very useful to organize your home screen now if you're someone who keep these applications cluttered everywhere on the home screen and find it difficult to organize them and place them in a particular place by dragging and dropping each application here is an alternative way to do this now if you have to bring this application from this home screen to this home screen one by one it is going to be very very difficult but here is a hidden feature for you guys all you need to do is just press and hold on the application tap on select and then you can select multiple applications like this and you can go to the page where you want to place them and just press and hold on that empty space and drop it right over here you can see all of them comes and sits over here without any issues they organize by themselves all you need to do is just select them and drop them right here this is a pretty cool feature which is a hidden feature and more often users tend to miss out on all these features and that is why I'm here letting you guys know about all these cool hidden features. So if you find this kind of video useful and interesting, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you find this video informative. Do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. The 50% discounts end very very soon. Go ahead and check the link in the description. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.